In the patient with an obstructed airway, we can also insert either a nasopharyngeal airway or an oral airway. First, the nasopharyngeal airway. It can be used in the patient with an intact gag reflex. However, it is contraindicated in a patient with suspected basal skull fracture. First, find the correct size for the patient. The length should be the distance between the patient's nostril to the angle of the mandible. Lubricate the nasopharyngeal airway. To insert in the right near, point the bevel towards the septum and insert following the curvature of the patient's airway. To insert in the left near, point the bevel towards the septum. Insert the first half. Rotate the nasopharyngeal airway 180 degrees. Insert the second half. Next, the oropharyngeal airway or the oral airway. It keeps the tongue out of the way in the oral cavity. Since the oral airway can stimulate the gag reflex and cause vomiting, it is contraindicated in the patient with an intact gag reflex. To select the correct size, the length of the oral airway should be from the patient's mouth to the angle of the mandible. Insert it by pointing upwards into the patient's mouth to prevent it from hitting the tongue. Rotate it 180 degrees, then continue insertion. 